Yo guys, what is going on? And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to create this blurry text effect that you see on screen in DaVinci Resolve. This is actually a pretty cool text effect, so stick around because it's fairly simple. But if you guys are new here, my name is Ryan. I help other editors get saucy in DaVinci Resolve. And if you wanna speed up your workflow while editing, then check out the creator bundle down below with the first link in the description, as well as all of my packs with Preanimate V2, Essential Overlays. Go check that all out. But without further ado, we are going to get straight into this video. DaVinci Resolve 19. All right, guys, so in here I have some basic footage, you know, just of me talking. And I'm just gonna take some of this footage right here and make it, it doesn't need to be no more than 10 seconds long as well, as I'm just using this as practice footage as well. So I'm just gonna literally just delete this audio clip here. So all we're gonna do is just hold option on Mac and then we're just going to scroll up and create a second clip. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the color tab and we're gonna go over to Magic Mask. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to Better and I'm gonna toggle on this button right here and I'm simply just going to give my subject a quick scribble around all right so magic mask did a pretty good job so I'm just gonna come over here down to this track back and forth button and we're just gonna track my subject now if you guys don't have magic mask I have a video that I'll pop up right here that you can learn how to track yourself without having the studio version so basically how to track yourself with the free version all right so with the simple track I'm just gonna double click and create an alpha ad output then connect that alpha output and go back to the edit page now for now we could just go ahead and deactivate this so it's not taxing on our cpu gpu whatever you want to call it so now we're going to go over to the titles and this is where the effect is actually going to take place we're just going to grab a text plus and slap that in the middle of our effect and we're gonna just make this the length of our clip. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to the font and I'm gonna search for a Gotham Ultra. This is the title I like using. And I'm just gonna keep it simple and just literally just do blurry text. And I'm just gonna make this pretty big, probably about right there. You need it as big as you possibly can probably to make the whole thing look all good. Now with this text effect, after you made it look like how you want it to look like, kind of put it in the place that you want it to be. So maybe like right here. Um, and I'm just going to honestly size this up just a little bit more because I know that that's going to be taking place right there. So I'm just going to head into the fusion page. Now with this blurry text effect, we're just going to add a few things before we actually get the blur going. But basically we're going to add a glow and open your inspector tab. And honestly, the glow is good as is, but we can change it up just a little bit. That glow looks good right there. Now I forgot one thing. We need to go to the shading and go to number two and enable the red outline and turn that thickness all the way up and then actually just turn this to black and then hit okay. And then we're just gonna add a drop shadow and we're gonna turn that shadow strength all the way up and the blur all the way down and then the drop distance as close as possible to get that, give that look. Now under the template, I'm literally just going to come to the color and change this to like a yellow text effect. Now, if you want to make this look a little better low key, we could turn down that thickness and make it look more yellow and not so thick with the outline. But anyways, now that we have a, an established text effect, we're going to now add blur node. Now, if you increase the blur size, you can tell that it's just going to go insanely blurry. We don't want it like that. So what we're gonna do is a simple animation. So at around frame 40, we are going to hit a keyframe on the blur size and we're going to go about to frame 50 or 60 and just increase that blur just a tad, just like that. So I'm literally keeping it at 6.3. So now if we go here, we see it slowly blurs. And to make that look better, we're just gonna go to the spline and go to the blur and zoom to fit with this little button right here. Hit Command A, just smooth out your keyframes by holding S and you can even drag this down just a little bit. So now you have something like this. And it's very subtle, you can't really notice it, right? So the next thing we're gonna do is just add some scan line nodes. So add those scan lines and I'm gonna turn this line frequency up a whole bunch. Turn the line sharpness down just a tad and then turn the line shift right there and what we're going to do is as you can see it only comes when the blurriness comes so you really if you wanted to leave the scan lines just right there you could so it doesn't come in until the blurriness comes in so as you can see here if we zoom in to about 200 you can see the scan lines are there and then now they're kind of sort of not there you can only really tell they're there when the blur comes into a play effect. Now to really tie this all together, so this is the effect without any animation. It goes blurry and you have this nice effect. What I am going to do is use my new plugin, Preanimate V2. It is an absolute game changer. So all I'm gonna do is just double click and create a new compound clip and press create. Going over to effects, I'm just gonna grab Preanimate V2 and literally just select up. And as you can see, it already animates up for me and then wiggles around as well. So. Now, if we add in that background, now you have something like this, and then obviously the text goes blurry, and now you are done with your blurry text 
effect. Now, one last part of this video, if you deactivate this and go into the compound clip itself, we're just gonna do shift space for another blur node under this compound clip and keeping the brush size at one. All we're gonna simply do is we're gonna keyframe it from frame zero. So we're just gonna hit a keyframe and then go to frame 58, which is the frame that we originally set place on. And we're going to increase it just a tad more, like just a little bit more, just a little bit more. And then we're gonna do that same thing and go in here, zoom to fit, command A and then S to smooth out the keyframes. So that way it's even more blurry and it has a better effect slash look to it. So guys, if you found this informational, then drop a subscribe and a like down below. But anyways, guys, that is going to conclude this video. If you guys want to cop pre-animate, it is actually on sale right now, over 50% off in the first link in the description. So go check it out. I'm going to pick one lucky person who comments on this video, who likes, comments, and subscribes to give pre-animate V2 for free. So if you were that lucky winner, then I will be reaching out to you. So hope you guys have a good day and peace out. Let me fix my keys upon the ground